Hey, welcome back to Learning Self Reliance. My name is Roland, and today I wanted to show you guys a really cool method to encrypt your communications. Uh, this method is really simple to do. You can do it by hand or with a, a little cheat sheet that I've got here. And uh, the cool part about it is, is even by today's modern cryptographic standards, it can't be decrypted. Nobody can listen in on this communication, and uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys this. It's pretty straightforward. And um, one thing I want to do mention is... Uh, some of, you, some of you are probably thinking like, hey, you know, I could use some encryption for my ham radio or something like that, right? Because uh, you can't buy encrypted ham radios like police officers and things like that use. You can't buy them as a civilian. But unfortunately, uh, encrypting your communication in any way is illegal as defined by the FCC. So definitely don't do this on your ham radio. All right, don't do it. You should just do this with like writing it down and handing it off, something like that, for sure. All right, this is all you need to be able to do this encryption method. You can easily put this in a bag or something like that, carry it around with you, um, and use it anywhere. It's awesome, okay? So what this method is called is called the one-time pad method, and this right here is a one-time pad. So I just printed this one off as an example. I'll have to teach you guys. Uh, I'll probably do a second video talking about how to generate one of these, but uh, this, this video will be teaching you how to uh, use it, okay? So on here, I've got several different messages. So this is pad one, message one, right? And I've got message three, four, five, six, seven, right? Several different messages. The theory behind this is you use these letters and numbers here. Let me give you guys a bit of a close up. These letters and numbers here, and you can encrypt your message using them. So long as you use this message one, only one time, it can't be decrypted, right? So if you, if you make a message, send it, and then make another one using the same one, it can be easily decrypted, okay? So what you want to do is you make a message, send it off, cut this off, burn it, okay? Never use it again. Then do the next one for your next message, okay? So only use each of these one time. And these things are super easy to generate, so you can print off a couple of sheets of this, and if you and your prepper group or something uses them up, you can just print off some new ones, hand them out, and uh, use those new pages, right? So there's no need to like save these or, or anything like that. Um, once once you use it, you use it and then burn it, okay? All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna write down a message you wanna send, okay? So we're just gonna send out, uh, let's just do the first part of my YouTube channel name, okay? We're gonna send out learning. We're gonna send out learning. And then we're gonna add the letters of learning to this message, this one-time pad message here, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So we wanna send L. Okay, but we want to have it encrypted. So we're going to add it to the character on this one-time pad. So underneath each of these letters, I'm going to write down the character from the one-time pad. Okay, so we're going to do C, B, 2, F, 8, 1, S, H. Okay, and in here there's spaces between each of these columns. That's not a character that you're gonna send or anything like that. It's just there to make it a little bit easier to read, okay? So if this was our only message we're gonna send, we'd cut this off, burn it, okay? Because we've used it as much as we need to, okay? Now we're gonna take this cheat sheet and we're gonna add these two letters together. Find the intersection of the character you want to send and the one-time pad character, okay? So we wanna send L and we need to add C to it. We're gonna find the intersection of L and C over here, okay, which is N. So I'm gonna write that underneath, N, okay? Then I'm gonna do it again for E and B. I'm gonna go on E here, move over to B, which is F, okay? And then we need to do A. A, we go over to two, which is pretty far over here, which is two, okay? A is an, a special uh, kind of thing like that. It's going to come out as uh, what it is over here, but that's not an issue, okay? Not a problem. That's the way it works. It's just fine. Two. Now we're going to add R and F. Find the intersection of those. R over to F, which is W over here. F, W. W. Then N and 8, N over to 8, which is way over here, which is L, okay? L, I'm going to do these pretty quick here now. 
I, I think you guys get the, the gist of it, I over 2s, which is 0. Oop, I over to 1, I screwed up, hold on. I over to 1. 9, okay. That's a 9. Okay, sorry, filming and doing this at the same time can be a little confusing. N and S, N over 2 S, which is 5, 5, and G, okay, G and H, over to H, which is N, here, okay, N. So, what we do is we'd write this down as our message, send it off, then the other person can decrypt it, okay? So, let me write down what these all are, just in case you forget, this is the message, this is the one time pad. I'm going to write that one time pad characters. And then this is what's called our cipher text. Okay. Cipher text. Okay. And that's it. That's how, you, that's as hard as encryption is, as you just add these two, find the intersection on this sheet using your one time pad that you've generated. And that's it. Cut that off, burn it. Okay. Now, we're going to pretend to be the other side of this, okay? And we're going to decrypt this message, which is just as simple, okay? So we receive this message, and let's decrypt it. N, F, 2, W, L, 9, 5, N. Okay? And this is our the ciphertext. Okay, there's our message, our ciphertext here. And that's uh, just a fancy way of saying the encrypted message, okay? And then I need to put my one-time pad characters right next to it, which are C, B, 2, F, 8, 1, S, H. Okay, decrypting is nice and simple. We're going to follow the one-time pad characters row. So we're going to, the one-time pad character is C. We're going to take C here. We're going to go over until we find the character we received, which is N. The column header, L is what it's decrypted as, okay? L. Okay, next one time pad character is B. We start on the B row and we go over till we find F, E. Column header is E. L, E. Now our one time pad character is two. We follow it over until we find two, which is the first which is the first uh, column here. First column is, of course, A. That one's special like that. That's just fine. Now we go with F. Go till we find W, which is R. Okay, and I'm just going to go through these real quick. 8 over to L, which is N at the top. Now we want to do 1 until we find 9. 1 over to 9. Top of that is I. Okay, S over to 5, which is N. Okay, and then last but not least, H over to N. Okay, G. And that's our message. And that's it. Okay, super simple. Can't be decrypted can use it anywhere as long as you got a piece of paper and you got your one time pad and you've got your, I mean, you can do this without the cheat sheet, but I'm not going to cover that, but just have your cheat sheet, your one time pad, maybe some scrap paper or something to write on. You, I suppose you could write it on the, this uh, one time pad character sheet or something if you needed that, as long as you cut it off and burn it. All right. Some of the more observant of you may have noticed that on this cheat sheet here, there is no space or special characters, right? So when you make your message, you want to make sure that it can be understood without spaces. These are the only letters you can send, A through Z, 0 through 9, okay? So make, tailor your message to that. Make sure it can be understood without a space in it. All right, guys, that's it. As you can see, super simple. All you need is the one-time pad page and a cheat sheet, piece of paper and a pencil or something like that. Send it out. Anybody can do it. So I definitely say that, uh, you know, next video I'm going to have to do about uh, how to generate these, print them off, distribute them through your group, make sure everybody's got them, and then you can 
communicate securely. And I think that's uh, something a lot. I I've looked. I watch a lot of prepper YouTube videos. I've never seen anybody mention anything like this. So as far as I know, this is a pretty unique thing to my channel and something I'm pretty excited about. And, um, and there's been a lot of work that's gone into this and uh, um, making the, this uh, cheat sheet and stuff like that um, will definitely save you a whole lot of time. One thing I'd like to do for fun, I'm going to put a message on the screen for you guys and I'm going to uh, have the one-time pad characters for you. And you guys just go ahead and pull out a piece of paper. Do the decryption. I'll download the cheat sheet, right? Print it off if you need to, and uh, decrypt it, and send me a message and a comment. It'll be pretty cool. You know, we can send messages back and forth, and you guys can get a real quick example of how this works, and you can see how simple it is and uh, how easy it is to teach somebody to do this, right? All right, guys. I'm really excited by this. I think this is going to be really useful to a lot of people, save a lot of lives, and stuff like that. All right. So uh, leave me a comment, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe.